What's happening YouTube? Dan Reese here from ZabranaWoodcraft.com and in this video I'm going to talk about the only time that somebody left me a negative review on Etsy, how I reacted and what you should do if it happens to you. So the whole malarkey started with a notification on my phone. Yes, customer X has left you feedback and you have me thinking another glowing review to add to my resume and then all of a sudden no. Two stars. They left two freaking stars. I spent hours making their custom order for them, slaving away until my fingers bled. Not to mention the years it took me to hone my skills as a craftsman and to build a reputation online. Then one angry impulsive customer comes and leaves a negative review and I feared my whole world and business was going to crumble to dust around me. Perhaps just a little bit melodramatic at this stage. So I did the best thing I could do at this point, which was one, to drink copious amounts of tea and secondly, to sleep on it. When I woke up, I immediately wrote a public response to the review, addressing each criticism in a calm, collected and professional manner. I then emailed customer X, apologizing profusely and offering to resolve any issues. But it turns out that this was a mistake. Not the whole like apologizing and offering to resolve any issues. That's actually bloody good customer service. The mistake was leaving a public response right away. You see, Etsy offers you, the seller, the opportunity to respond publicly to reviews that are left under three stars within 100 days of the buyer leaving them. However, you can only do this one time and when you've left a public reply, the buyer can never edit their review. So don't do what I did guys, because after emailing the customer and explaining I would happily work through any issues, they actually said that they were more than happy to edit their review. It kind of sucks that I'm stuck with a stinky two-star review, but I feel that like my public reply actually did me some justice. And anyone with a bit of sense will read the review and realize that it's an anomaly. Most people can see through one bad response in a sea of praise, I hope. Unfortunately for me, the customer was having a bad day and lashed out angrily without really considering the consequences and effect it might have on my livelihood. But there's no beef, I can't blame them. I can, however, gladly report the one bad review did not affect my business in any negative way. In fact, the following month, I had my second best ever month in business. So here's what to do if you get a negative review on Etsy. One, sleep on it as you probably say something you regret if you do it when you're angry. Two, email the customer first. Try and resolve any issues they have, apologize, and just basically do whatever you can to keep them happy and get them to change that review. Three, if you can't resolve any issues, then post a public reply. Remember to stay professional at all times. Four, realize it's not the end of the world. Learn from your mistakes and implement practices that will stop customers from leaving bad reviews in the future. Five, move on and keep smashing it. Overcome, improve, endure. That's just what the business owner do. If you frequently receive bad reviews, however, then you should seriously look at the way that you're treating your customers, your product, and just generally the way that you're conducting yourself in business. Maybe this game is not for you. And on the flip side, whenever someone does leave you a glowing review, you should consider taking a screenshot on your phone and then sharing the picture uh, to all of your social media followers. So I hope this video has helped you in some way, even if it's just to inspire you to keep on smashing it. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Give it a share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you in the next one. Done.